Hello everybody, I will start posting on my new website some videos about my technique and about how my works are getting to life. So right now I'm working on a piece about 180 centimeters. It's an average painting which is about 80% almost done. Well, most of the time I work on horizontal, I, I like to work on the table, you know, because um, I develop a technique that uh, needs to put the colors in a uh, very liquid form. So, I use some transparencies, uh, making the colors with uh, a lot of water. And um, I prefer acrylics because um, they dry more faster than uh, oil colors. But uh, I must say uh, I prefer oil colors because the, they have more brilliance and the colors are more uh, uh, easy to use from my opinion. They are more bright and the effects that you can do with oil colors are uh, much much better. Uh, Unfortunately, you have to use uh, diluents or something that is a little toxic comparing with the water. So, uh, most of my last, uh, latest paintings are made in acrylic technique. Um, I'm not painting in traditional way, you know, on a, a easel or something like that. I am painting on the table because I control very easy the colors and all the effects. Well, uh, um, I developed a technique using some textiles, you know, I put the color on, on surface and after that I use yeah, some fabrics, some textile, you know, and uh, I put the colors in a liquid to, to make this all effects and I, I smash the, the canvas and you see all the effects here are made with this technique. Also I use paper, you know, this technique, this effect here is made with uh, uh, a small piece of paper, you know, I put the liquid color and after that I just draw very very slowly and make all these transverses and all these effects. Well, another technique that I, I am using is uh, by putting some colors on a cardboard and make some effects and after that I just put it on the canvas, I will show you how. So I will need to make some uh, effects in some areas with a um, very thin um, color of uh, turquoise and also some uh, blue. and. Uh, uh, a very uh, will give you uh, give the painting a uh, shiny areas so I will show you how so I'll put some blue here and also a very a very nice color that I'm using in the latest period turquoise yeah and I also I'm putting white here yeah, I'll show you how you have to make this many times to see the power of the technique and to control it because um, it's very very important that you know the technique. Here I mix the colors and I, I also I, I don't mix it very very well because I need this you know differences between blue and turquoise and white to stay on the cardboard so sometimes you put more color so you need to have extra canvas to remove the extra color so like I see like I said there are some effects so I will not put every cardboard just a piece, you know, a side, which I'm going to make an effect. See, I put the side, only the side, and I made this effect. 
and um, I just want to see another another area that will give me some power to the painting say and I want to put in that area so after that by the end of the painting I'm using the traditional way to put colors with a brush and uh, I make some light areas and uh, the finishing of the painting is the sweetest part you know when you are close to finish the painting the pleasure is bigger so I, I just want to light some areas you know so I'm using also the fingers to make the transparencies I just want to enlarge some areas I will show you in the next videos uh, how I start the painting most of the people ask me do you make a sketch or something no because I have experience and I know where to to guide the painting and I'm using some you know some mm, some personal ways to make some effects the background is very important right now the painting is almost finished but I will post new videos in a couple of days showing how I start the painting you can use the brush you know in some angles uh, to make different if you put the brass in traditional way you will make a traditional lightning you know effect but when you when you switch to another angle and to you can make different effects which gives me opportunity to develop new textures Well, my paintings are almost figurative, but I start from structures and forms that are coming from figurative uh, reality, but I deform it and I switch it to an abstract way. And um, the basic, uh, this series is Beyond the Inside. Uh, in this series, as I wrote on my website, I try to develop a new way to make uh, landscapes but landscapes which uh, tell some stories about light, about uh, how the, um, you know, the reality of a landscape is transformed to um, a metal reality, to a um, landscape that uh, gives the idea to a viewer that is traveling uh, through space and through galaxies and to another dimension which um, which are uh, basically uh, spiritual travel you know so if, if, if I have more color on the brush a large, if not large is a medium I will just make the transparencies with a new one smaller you know It's very important to exercise all the time because I know for me the painting is a uh, is always uh, you know uh, a way to find new experience and to learn. I said to my to my kids that I'm teaching painting that you have to play all the time. You know, painting is about uh, it's about enjoying the game. You know, it's about enjoying and exploring. You, as a painter you need to find new techniques, you need to find new ways to express the interior side of you. Uh, it's very important to all the time to read and also to see different things, to watch realities around you. I always 
I'm always enjoying watching the tube walls, you know, muds, forming muds, structures, especially the deteriorate by time. Yes. You will see the painting in the finished form and uh, I will be happy to know your opinions. I will open a YouTube channel so you are invited to subscribe there. Okay, thank you. Thanks and uh, see you later guys.